Hey, hey, hey. Welcome everybody to Miss Glow's Kitchen where the sugar, spice, and everything nice where we slice, dice, and entice using everything we can from peppers to allspice. What's up my people? Y'all know what time it is? See y'all in the kitchen. Right, here's what we need to make that caramel popcorn. Brown sugar, salt, baking soda, vanilla extract, light corn syrup, butter, and of course the star of the show, the popcorn. Now, I'm gonna use nuts in mine, but that's completely optional. You don't have to do that. You can just make regular caramel corn. So, you know what I always say, ain't nothing to it but to do it. So let's get to it. 225 degrees. Don't put it any higher than that. You don't want to burn the caramel on the popcorn. You want to cook it on there. You don't want to burn it, so. All right, so after this, when we get this boiling, we're going to put in vanilla, salt, and baking soda. So, we'll make sure you got your measurements ready. You got everything open. You're going to be ready to go. Boiling and coming to. Yep, make sure that everything ready. Now, the other thing I've done is I have lined a sheet pan with wax paper and I put my popcorn on there. So you want to already have the popcorn ready for this sauce when you are uh, when it's done. See some sugar granules right there. And so that's what you don't want. Now what you want to do is you want to let this boil down. So you want to put this on a lower heat. So you don't have to let it boil crazy. You put it down on a lower heat and let it go. You want your sugar granules to completely dissolve. All right. So take a look there and that's perfect. So you don't see them anymore, which is good. So that's exactly what we want. We want it to melt. We don't want it to seize up on the popcorn and then we have hard sugar on there. That's not what we want. All right. Now, last part of our sauce. Last part of our sauce is going to take a half teaspoon of vanilla, teaspoon of salt, and a teaspoon of baking soda. And you can put it right in here. So, turn it down on low. So you want to get a teaspoon of baking powder in here. All right, teaspoon of salt, half teaspoon of vanilla. So I'm going to measure it this time. I'm going to put a teaspoon. It's up to you. You can too. All right, there we go. Now, just want to get these ingredients. Stir it in really well. Use a whisk if you need to, but trust me, it's gonna cook down. You don't have to worry about that. So I'm gonna give this about a minute or two. So after that, the sugar granules are gonna melt. You've already got your popcorn on the tray, so here's where we're going next. Now we're gonna pour the sauce over the popcorn. Now what you wanna do here, is you wanna get it mixed up really, 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 really well. So you're gonna pour half on, Mix it up, so you see I'm using my hand in the spatula. You do want to work quickly. I'm going to do the other half, and then we're going to mix it up, and then guess what? We're going to get it put into the oven. All right, oven, 225. So set it for 15 minutes. 15 minutes later, you're going to come back. You're going to stir it again. So you're going to stir it very well again. And you're going to put it in for 15 more minutes, and you're going to stir it very well. Then you're gonna take it out, and after you take it out, please. All right, so we back, it's been 15 minutes, so this is the last 15 minutes that it's gonna stay in here. Now mind you, by now, you're probably not gonna have a really, really crispy popcorn, because mind you, it's gotta sit for an hour after it's done in the oven like this. So don't worry about it. It's not gonna be all that crispy, so no big deal. You do wanna stir it around a little bit, and then, of course, I'm gonna put 
nuts all over mine. Nuts are optional. If you naturally, if you <laughs> if you're allergic or someone you know is, don't put nuts on the popcorn. You just use regular caramel corn. But this is what I always order when I go in the shops and I get popcorn. I always order the ones. That yep, we back. Popcorn is out the oven. So what happens now? I'm gonna scoop it into this bowl. I'm gonna scoop this sticky caramel corn right into this bowl. Yeah. See that? All right, so what you do now, you're gonna scoop it in this bowl, and you're gonna let it cool off for one hour. So if you're gonna mix any more nuts, you're gonna mix any cheese popcorn, wait one hour. All right, that's it. I'll come back, I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. Mm hmm. Our very own caramel popcorn with nuts. Nuts are optional. Very own caramel popcorn. Mix this with cheese, baby. Just like you bought it at the store. Thanks for watching Savory Spices. See y'all next time. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share.